Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, and I'm going to show you Edge Code. Edge Code is a lightweight editor made for web developers and web designers. It's built on the open source brackets project, so it's written with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. That means if you can use Edge Code, you can also contribute features, or you can build your own extensions to add functionality. There are a number of features in Edge Code that are meant to improve the productivity for web developers and web designers. Let's take a look. One of the features is called Live Preview which creates a seamless link between your code and the browser. So any changes you make in Edge code are updated in the browser automatically. If I need to update text, I can do that, save it. It'll automatically reload my project. If I'm in CSS, as I highlight over certain elements, it will highlight those in the browser so I can see all the selectors and how they're applied in the browser itself. Any changes I make in CSS, are also going to be reflected automatically without save or without reload. Edge code also understands that it's important to have context when you're creating and modifying web documents. So instead of making you jump between HTML and CSS files to see which styles are being applied, we have something called Quick Edit, which gives you instant access to all the styles that are being applied to elements or classes within your HTML. Using Quick Edit, I can select a class, push the Quick Edit key, and then I'll get an inline editor that shows me which style is being applied to that element. I can also click on a root element, and I can see a number of styles. If there's more than one style being applied in different CSS files, I can toggle between those. I get the same live highlight and live preview functionality that I would get if I were editing the CSS file directly. Sometimes, a visual element can be helpful for augmenting code. A good example is a color selector. Within Edge Code, when you select a color value, either hex or RGB or RGBA, you can push the quick edit command, and it will bring up a visual color selector so that you can see all the colors available to you. As you modify that color and drag the selector around, it will update the code in your CSS file. If Live Preview is enabled, you'll also see that color on the screen as you change it. There's also a swatch panel so you can see the most used color values in your CSS file and refer back to them or click them to set your values to the previous ones. Edge code also includes code completion for HTML and CSS. So when you're typing within an HTML or CSS file, you'll get a dropdown that shows you code completion. If you're working with something that involves files, we'll also go out and look at the file system and give you access to your file path so you can make sure you have no typos and you're selecting the exact file that you want. Edge code also hooks into some of the other Edge tools and services, including Edge web fonts and PhoneGap build. If I want to use Edge web fonts in my CSS file, I can simply use the font family tag and I get code completion for some of the basic fonts that are available to me in the browser. If I want to use Edge Web Fonts, I simply click Browse Web Fonts, and then I'm given a screen where I can see all the different web fonts that are available to me as part of the Edge Web Fonts collection. I can browse by style, select something unique, click Done, and it's going to insert that font family into my CSS file. If I click on the Web Fonts icon, I can get the script file that I need to paste into my HTML document to make that font and get it from the Edge Web Fonts library. Saving that automatically refreshes my browser, and I can see that Edge Web Font being used in my HTML and CSS files. So as you can see, with things like Live Preview, Quick Edit, and hooks into other Edge tools and services, Edge Code provides a lot of features and functionality that will help web developers and web designers work faster and more in tune with the browser.